What do you like them better? Taco Bell or Del Taco? Uh, neither, but the only thing I'll eat at Taco Bell is the chalupa. Even though it's not a real chalupa, but the Taco Bell's chalupa. What do you got against Del Taco? If I'm gonna eat Mexican food, if you don't go there for Mexican food, it's it's knockoff Mexican food. So I, do, I if I ever mean no. the movie, I'm like, no, I'm gonna. Re- Nobody re- in their right mind is thinking. I want some Mexican food. Where should we go, babe? Del Taco. Well, Indians, if they want pizza, if they want uh, what was it? Oh yeah, if they want Mexican food, they go to Domino's. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Just- Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, from all Joss content. Instagram and Twitter. Twitter, my Instagram. Hey, what a, they gave me a lemon, not a lime today. That would taste weird. With my fish taco. I feel like most Indians, if they could try authentic Mexican food, would love it. I absolutely agree. One, Mexican food is absolutely, it's absolutely fantastic. fantastic. But like, actual, not like, you know, it's the only stuff that you guys probably mostly have. I'm sure there's a few Mexican restaurants because there's, in, in every country, there's there's something. But the ones that are prevalent from what I've heard are just <laughs> Well, open. it's kind of far from Mexico. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like how we have terrible Indian food here. Exactly. Mostly. We can drive to Mexico and we've Luck- got 60% of the people here are Mexican. Best of the thing about LA, though, is there's so much diversity. Yeah. We have every kind every, of food here. Every food. Five, Somebody who's probably from that country. Absolutely. Because it's such a melting pot of a city. That's yep. wonderful. Anyways, this is not what this is about. This is about theft from colonizers. Sweet. <laughs> That's <laughs> never happened before. This is uh, Western Museums Must Return Stolen Artifacts. So oh. Like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, oh, yeah. This is a little informational video about That's that. different than reparations, <laughs> man. Give back the artifacts, you bastards. Yeah. Um, so um, <laughs> It's not uncommon for um, uh, places in America, or especially, obviously, the British were famous for it. I mean, I think the, the Queen is famously wearing the jewel. I think, I, I forget what the yes. jewel is called, but like in her crown. Yes. And it's a stolen jewel from India. From right? India. Um, but there's, I'm sure, thousands of artifacts because, you know, they co- try to colonize the world and just stole everything. Yep. Um, so, but I'm sure this is probably America, I, I know, has done it. Uh, there's so many Western uh, civilizations that have done it. Um, and so this is just a little information about some of the artifacts and about just where that, they're being harbored. It's What's funny is that not only taken, but whatever the dominating group of people are, they tend to just obliterate any memory of the prior culture. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, we used to have millions of uh, Native Americans. In and that. buffalo. Yeah. And wolves. Yee. And eagles. <laughs> Let's just we go down the list. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Have you heard of the Rosetta Stone? Yes, I have. Yes. It's one of the most precious artifacts of all time. Oh, it's a First learning clue thing. to understanding ancient Egyptian scripts. It led to the discovery of at least three writing systems. This stone is as old as modern civilization. The Rosetta Stone. Then we have the Elgin marbles, a set of Greek sculptures from the 5th century. They were built to decorate Parthenon, the temple of Athena. They're exquisite, just like the Benin bronzes. This is a collection of metal plaques. They once decorated the kingdom of Benin. The Benin bronzes are an African treasure. They show how skilled African artists were. Then comes the Tanjaur Shiva, another masterpiece. It's a bronze statue of Lord Shiva, the Hindu god made almost a thousand years ago during the Chola dynasty, a testimony to the remarkable craftsmanship of the sculptors of ancient India. These are all stunning pieces of art. Do you know what's common between them? They're all present in the British Museum. Or should I say the British Warehouse of Loot? <laughs> one oh, shit. School, or one by four, nice. are acquired unfairly. Today they serve as a cruel reminder of colonial times. But the British Museum displays them with pride. It presents them as prized treasures, showing no sense of remorse. We totally didn't steal this. Or gratitude for the people from whom these were taken. And why it is Britain? Museums across Europe are filled with such objects, with uncomfortable histories linked to colonialism. So here's a question. 
Do they have the right to keep displaying these objects? Hello, not, welcome to not the if they don't have permission. Sharma, they say in law, a thief is not allowed to keep ill-gotten gains. No matter how long ago they were taken, they must be returned. No matter how much that thief may have improved them, they must be returned. European nations wrongfully took cultural riches. They took them from countries that are now independent states. But most of them refuse to even discuss returning them. They refuse to make reparations for their historical wrongs. According to the Archaeological Institute of America, 85 to 90 percent of classical artifacts and museums do not have a documented provenance, meaning they don't have a record of ownership mm. or a record of origin through which museums can justify their right to possess these objects. Most of these artifacts are from Africa and Asia. Mm -hmm. In 2018, the French government commissioned a report. Guess what they found? Nearly 90% of Africa's cultural heritage is held by museums and institutions outside of Africa. Nearly 90%. France alone has 90,000 such objects, stolen objects. A majority of them can be found at the Quai Branly Museum. It's a state-of-the-art museum situated in Paris. It holds a vast collection of art indigenous art from the eight African colonies that France once ruled. Mm. Last month, French President Emmanuel Macron decided to make some amends. He made French museums bid adieu to a trove of treasures. At least 26 stolen artifacts taken from the Kingdom of Benin were sent back. The works included palatial doors and royal thrones. They were all returned as a gesture of humility. Today's gesture is the possibility for the youth of Benin, the youth of Africa, to retrieve the works of their history and heritage, to be able to admire them at home. And I hope that this movement will continue and that the Universal will be accessible in Cotonou as in Paris. And we will continue this work together. This move has had ramifications across Europe and the US. It has opened a debate on looted artifacts, a debate to send them back to their country of origin. A few museums have decided to do this. They've ceded ground. They've begun a process of restitution, but most of the mighty museums are playing ostrich. I'm talking about the big ones, like the British Museum in London, the Louvre in Paris, the Humboldt Forum in Berlin, the Getty Center in Los Angeles, the Metropolitan in New York. They're all playing dumb. These museums have We've locked museum. up the precious lives of a million people it's right and down they the road reject to getting. all demands to return any of it. They consider these artifacts as spoils of war, an ah. argument that does not hold water, neither morally nor legally. <laughs> International law does not allow it. You see, the concept of finders keepers does not apply anymore. <laughs> the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, it reaffirms the right of a country to reclaim its treasures. It obliges museums to return property that was taken without free, prior and fair consent. In fact, this has been recognized by courts. In England, Ireland and the US, courts have ruled in favor of returning wrongfully acquired artifacts. They've said that other countries have sovereignty over items which they think constitute keys to their heritage. And it's not just courts who back this call. Human rights treaties also support what they call the right to culture. The right to reclaim what belongs to your culture. Take India, for instance. It was colonized for two centuries by the United Kingdom. And this was colonialism in its most predatory form. The British looted everyone and everything. In today's value, this loot would amount to a sum of $45 trillion. <laughs> this is according to research by Columbia University Press. It says Britain drained a total of $45 trillion from India. Shouldn't the UK pay reparations for this? Yes. Forget yeah. reparations. <laughs> The least it can do is return India's stolen artifacts, like the Kohinoor, one of the most precious diamonds in the world. Agreed. This diamond was mined at the Kulur mine in India. It was unfairly ceded to Queen Victoria when Britain annexed Punjab in 1849. Today it adorns Queen Elizabeth's crown. Another priceless artifact is Maharaja Ranjit Singh's throne. It's covered with sheets of engraved gold. After the Anglo-Sikh War, it was moved to the Albert Museum. It's been in Britain ever since. Just like the sandstone idol of Lord Harihara from Madhya Pradesh. This 500 kg copper Buddha from Bihar. The sword of Tipu Sultan. They're all locked up at museums in Britain. What's the UK's excuse to keep them? 
Their argument is incredible. Most of the museums in Britain say their only aim is to make these objects available to all so that people from all over the world can come and see them, learn more about the roots well, and cultures yours, they so. go from. They say <laughs> they keep them for the anywhere. rest of the world. Do you believe this? No. Do you buy this argument? No. It's like saying that some kid from Africa can always go to Britain to learn more about her culture. Right. Why? Because Britain is the cultural capital of the world. Capital of colonial loot, more like. As for the public service they claim to do, here's what. People from all over the world can see African art in Africa too, and Indian art in India too. Heck yeah. In fact, the whole concept of these museums is more like a colonialist fantasy of neatly cataloging the entire world in a single air-conditioned building so that Westerners do not have to cross continents to uncomfortable climates to see them. Preach! <laughs> oh, shit. My point is quite simple. Like it. Artifacts belong to the countries of their origin, to places where they can best be appreciated, to people for whom they have the most meaning. So by holding on to them and displaying them for a fee, Western museums are still benefiting from their colonial legacy, still validating their historical wrongs and injustices. Their empires have crumbled, but their sense of entitlement has not. Great piece. That was spectacular. A great, greatly presented piece. Uh, really well presented. Uh, and very, very accurate. And applause and, to, uh, she, she pronounced his name. I mean, she went, she slid right into the French pronunciation of Macron. Macron. Uh, Macron in Macron. France. I love Macron. Kudos, kudos to him for doing that. And I show you how stupid, it's not stupidity, it's ignorance. Ignorant I am about art. Like, I've when I've gone to museums and seen art, I thought things from other cultures were there on loan because that happens so often. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I thought that the primary the primary thing you see when you go to museums is the stuff that's being heralded about the culture of the place you're in, and then anything else is there on loan from other museums. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Whereas I didn't know in Britain, they've got a huge amount of stuff that's basically their... Spoils of war and 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 uh, the Louvre as well, which uh, I've been apparently at the Getty as well. Apparently, which that's cool. surprising because I've been to the Getty a couple times, which is yeah. and I was unaware of the fact that they have things there that belong to other cultures that they permanently hold. But granted, though, when you think about it, they probably have tons of Native American stuff. I guarantee all that stuff is probably not. We right, and I agree with that as well. I mean, we've talked about <laughs> that before. African American community. In fact, it just it's not like a something like a physical object, but a piece of land was just returned a few months yes. ago and was it Long Beach? It was in Long Beach. It was here south just just before Long Beach. I think in the early 1900s an African American family uh, owned this piece of land and yep. the government just took it because they felt like they, they could. could. Uh, and the I think either Los Angeles or California government just handed it back. They to, did. Uh, I think uh, governor the family. Newsom was responsible yeah. for that uh, in making sure cuz the the timeline on the ownership was expiring. Yeah, and there was no organization there to renew it. They could do that. The mm -hmm. state could have done it, or the city could have done that. But the the authorities opted to just let it revert back to the family, and the family yeah. now owns it again. And that's just one. Of, there's millions upon millions of examples of that of stolen land. I mean, well, the entirety of the United States is stolen. Uh, that's it just is our history. And uh. as is <laughs> as is the places that we had said to the Native Americans we were designating as their land and stole it. when they made the agreements with us to be here peacefully, and then we took that from them. Yep. Their most sacred Black Hills we screwed up over yeah. it's, just it's, greed. It's it's not an overstatement when we say the United States is stolen stolen land and continues to yeah. steal stuff. It's, it's, our 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 desire for empire and yeah. imperialism and colonization. We've, we, we are now taking things that are more monetary and business and idea-minded, but we're still doing it. But, yeah, this was a, a real good video. I, I hope, I mean, it's, it's something that everybody kind of knows that these things belong to the country, but they're, they're not, I guess, aware, the, at least the grand public is not aware of, like, yeah. they, most people probably think that. It's probably on loan from that country. I agree. I think if, there I was think a, if more people knew, yeah, I think there'd be, be an more, uplock. like. What, give, and no, give them their shit back. The British Museum, that that's a, a, a huge pile of steaming bullshit. Yeah, they don't want to give it up because of the amount of money they're going to lose of yeah. people coming to their museums. Mm -hmm. um, so, hundred percent. Yeah, they it, it, they take that really, diamond out of your crown. Yeah, queen. take the diamond <laughs> out of your crown. Like well, and one, send it back to. You're Africa. a queen in the 21st century, so yeah. let's just take that diamond out of there, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> as a, a queen. As a gesture of goodwill <laughs> that you should have never taken in the first place. You're just a fancy woman in a... Funny hat. Now, don't be careful. Micah loves the Queen of England. He Ooh. really... Micah? Micah, Micah has had... The, I am like not it. kidding. I like the crown. Micah has had a fascination the with the Queen of England since he was like five years old. Anytime it was her birthday, he That's knew. Weird. When he opened up his Instagram, if you look at his first post on Instagram, he wishes happy birthday to the Queen of England. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Micah has had his <coughs> love for the Queen of England all of his life. He's got the hots for Elizabeth. He's got He's the got hots for Elizabeth. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Anyways, that was great he likes video. Likes older women. Uh, please let us know uh, what other this was great. informational videos we can react to uh, this subject or other subjects. We always like learning stuff, so please send us more down below. Just